Hey guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, um, how to learn Python. So it's a beginner's Python tutorial. If, uh, you're going to want to start by installing Python. I will not be showing that in this video, but I'll put a link in the description where you can watch a video on how to install Python. So once you've done that, you should have an app called the Idle Editor. Uh, you can go into there. Now, you can see here, there's this. Uh, if you want, you can type in stuff in here, like this, hello world, and it'll put it back to you, but you can't save this as a file. This is just like, uh, yeah. So, instead, you can hit Control N, or you can go to File, and then New File, and now we're going to want to save this. We're going to File, Save As, or we're going to hit uh, Control Shift S. So then let's go into here, Python Tutorial, and I'll just call this Hello World.py. So now we have a file here that's saved. Um, for this tutorial, basic no um, programming knowledge will be helpful, but uh, not required. So we're going to start with uh, some basics. Here, and this is your editor. This is where you write the code. You can type into it and bring your stuff back. Um, so, one important thing is by hitting Control S or going here and clicking Save, it will save your file. You need this, or else you know your file will get lost. So, let's start by talking about functions. Functions are these things. They have parentheses, and you put the function name here. These parentheses can have arguments. Arguments are like things you put in it to give something back. So the print function, what it does is when you put an argument, it gives you, it prints something onto the screen. Like, hello world. Next we'll be talking about variables. Variables are kind of like what they are in math. They can be um, just a number. So in Python, what you do is you type the name of a variable. So let's call this var1, and now we click equals, and what we want the variable to be. It can be a number, it can also be text, or it can actually be a true or false. So let's start with this var1 variable. Let's say this is, um, let's just say this is hello. Now what we can do is we have this as a variable. If we run it, and we have to save it first, so save and then run, you can see it types hello world, but we don't do anything with this variable. So instead, we can print this variable, var1, but if we save it, it gives us an error. And that's because we print var1 before we define what var1 is. So we're going to delete that go into here r1 equals hello then it will do file save run oh <laughs> oops i did var instead of var1 so now save i'm gonna run run module and it types hello because that's what var is but if we say hello with an exclamation mark and we save it Click run, it types hello with an exclamation mark. So next I'll talk about comments. This is a comment. You add a hashtag to it in Python and then you can type whatever you want. But it doesn't do anything. So this is if um, someone's viewing your code, you can say something like, Hi there, this is a message and it doesn't do anything. It's just there if someone's doing your code. Um, now we'll talk about another function, the input function. And this gets user input. So we can actually put a variable onto this. We can call this var2. And then in here, we ask him a question like, what is your name? Now we can check what var2 is using an if statement. So we can say if var2 equals equals and then uh, let's just do byte dev then print hi 
So now if we save that and run it, it says, hello, what is your name? If you type byte dev, it says hi to you, but if you type something else, it won't. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye.